Welcome to Outfront Motorsports. I'm John Rykowski. Today we're going to have a, a torture test on head studs and we want to demonstrate and show off our new half inch head studs from ARP. ARP custom made these head studs to our specs. <clears throat> Let's start by first showing you uh, what's available. This is the stock uh, 260 4701. This is made out of ARP 2000 material. It has a KSI of 220. Uh, in the olden days, the torque specs of this bolt used to be 75 foot-pounds. Now they've raised it to 90 foot-pounds. I think they were having a little bit too many, too many failures at 75 foot-pounds. But that kind of lends us to think that it's a little bit past its normal 80% yield of the fastener. Here we have the New Age 625 Plus head stud, the 260 4704. This particular head stud is made out of a more superior alloy, a it's uh, 260 KSI. The recommended torques uh, of this fastener is 100 foot-pounds. <clears throat> Here is the new uh, Outfront Motorsports ARP half-inch head stud. This is made out of the ARP 2000 material, but because of its size, this fastener can be uh, torqued to 140 foot-pounds and still yield, 80 uh, still yield the 80% of yield. <clears throat> Uh, steel withstand. Uh, another nice feature that we incorporated into our new fastener uh, compared to our previous half inch head stud is that we made the shank slightly smaller than the root. This, What this allows is that when you're installing this stud on the head gasket you'll note that the two center holes are slightly smaller than the outer four holes. Um, these two center studs in the past were pinched a little bit because the shank was over 450 thou. This new shank is 407 thou, which allows it to, and, and it does not decrease the strength of the stud, but it allows it to slide on the head gasket and not pinch the head gasket. We even feel that the half inch head stud that we've developed is far superior than even the 14 millimeter head studs that are on the market today, as that causes a problem with these two mounting holes. <clears throat> on display over here, uh, we've done a cutaway of our half inch head studs and and a, uh, a standard ARP stud installed and a stock head stud. Uh, in a moment we are going to do a torture test. We're going to actually see where they actually either pull out or they break. I do want to note that on this particular uh, cutaway that we did, I probably got a little carried away on the mill and so I cut some material away so it looked like it's quite thin. <clears throat> in reality, this area is 270 thousandths thick at the, at the smallest area. It only tapers and gets slightly larger down below. So on all head studs, there's 270 thou worth of material even after the machining has been done for the half inch head stud. I might make a note also that our head stud has an additional one inch of thread engagement. Now this isn't a hundred percent thread engagement into the block as when you tap the block to half inch you see the relief right here where there was no stud or no threads and then there were stock studs. So anywhere above this is not a full thread engagement right here, uh, not a full thread, but it's there so we, might, we, we just left it. Another nice feature of having the shank smaller than the root of this thread is that when you are doing the machining you do not have to counterbore. You can see that we counterbored this to one and a half inches but if you didn't do that process this stud would be able to screw down even if thread started up here uh, again because the shank is smaller the root is smaller than the actual thread. I'd like to follow, have you follow me over here to a demonstration area. Uh, what we have here is we have an STI block that's set up with both a stock stud with an ARP 2000 stud with a 625 stud and with our brand new half inch head stud. What we're going to be doing and they're all pre-lubed, pre we're <clears throat> what we're going to do is we are going to torque these bolt fasteners down until one either they pull out or two is that the actual fastener breaks. There's been some uh, discussion on the internet on the pullout of our particular studs or where they might pull out of the block. Uh, contacting and talking to ARP, they do not have any any type of uh, data that would talk about pullout, uh, pullout strength of a fastener in aluminum, cast iron, and steel. 
so we're going to do our own. Uh, also, just want to mention that one of the one of the uh, recommendations that they have for a stud in cast iron is to be one and a half times the thread diameter. So if you had 11 millimeter, you would want to see 16 millimeters worth of thread engagement. And on aluminum, they ask for two times. So if you had 11 millimeter, you'd want 22 millimeters of thread engagement, which is seven eighths of an inch. However, two and a half times would be better. That would be pushing over one inch of thread engagement. These studs offer one and three quarter inch of engagement. This offers two and a half inches worth of thread engagement. So for our first test, we're going to use this snap-on torque wrench. This torque wrench <clears throat> will record the value of where I have actually torqued the fastener to. So what we're going to do is we have it set at 250 foot-pounds. Uh, what we're going to do is torque one until I either feel a give or until the, until the fastener fails. Let me ro rotate this block down. While I'm here, I'm going to give a little plug for our, for, um, for our uh, engine stand. We have actually manufactured our own engine plate. You can see it right here. This engine plate is made out of quarter inch steel. It's, a, it's laser etched with our name. It has access ports for um, a, the, the wrist pin hole. This hole is for a six cylinder EZ30 that there's an actual plug in there and it gives full access uh, for the back for the oil baffle in the back so you can actually work on we sell this plate for fifty dollars by itself or we can and it has a two inch hole on the inside or we can actually install whatever size of shaft you would need for your engine stand we could do that here in house or just sell you the plate for fifty dollars so here again on this engine stand that's what we're using today uh, hopefully this will hold up to our our uh, our test that we do so here we go this is a this is a stock fastener. And this bolt appears to just keep on going as it's not getting any tighter. I'm sure I'm past its strength and it's just becoming a spring. And that netted 125 foot-pounds on a stock fastener. Now what we're going to do is go to next the ARP 2000. The torque on this fastener is recommended 90 foot-pounds. We have seen 95, 100 foot-pounds on this, but clearly it's a little past its yield. We will not use this thread anymore, this stud anymore when we're done. This is pretty tight, but the bottom line is it's not getting any tighter. At this point, I don't know if the if it's pulling out. But I'm seeing 166 foot-pounds. But it's clearly not getting tighter, so what they want to do is they want to use a, uh, we're not, they don't stretch the bolt, they want to stretch the bolt until it deforms, that would be their maximum yield, they want to go 20%, 25% less than that, so that the bolt is not actually deforming, so that's where you would come up with a torque value of somewhere around the 90 foot-pounds. Next, this is a 625 uh, plus head stud that we're going to work with. Boy, I'm just keep on going. I'm not going to feel that this is going to tear out of the block. What I feel like is that the stud, the fastener, is just stretching. And I get 185. Now let's do our last one. 
This will be our half inch head stud. Boy, I'm getting a workout here. Let me level this out. This is even a torture test on our engine stand. As a, no one would ever be applying anything like this on half of a block on our engine stand. Here we go. Oh, holy smokes. Oh. Okay, something just happened. I think I just broke my socket at 201. Yep, I just broke my socket. I didn't have an impact, a, uh, a stronger socket than this on 12 point, but we clearly went to 201, and I'll tell you what, when I was torquing this, it did not keep on stretching. Do you think you have one, Jeremy? I'm like... It has to be half inch. I don't have it. You know what, while we're here on video, we're gonna keep on trying to see if I can find another one. Let me uh, let me go check in. Well, let me go check in my toolbox. half inch so what I do want to say is that clearly this one came up to yield uh, uh, not even close to yield as, uh, on this fastener and it instantly got tight meaning that the the fastener itself was not tor was not stretching now we don't mean that every head stud would be torqued to 140 pounds but there's no way that even with a 625 or with a 2000 you could even remotely come to that particular uh, yield because we were at 165 when they were oh here you go let's give that a try here's no half inch oh i'm sorry 916. Um, let me talk about the strengths of these fasteners the strength of this particular fastener the arrow p2000 has a at its 80% of yield, it has a, a clamping force of 17,000, uh, 15,700 pounds. Uh, then you move up to this particular stud, which adds 15% uh, additional strength, which this one has a yield, a uh, torque clamping force of 18,000 foot pounds. And then when you move up to this one, you get to a clamping force of 20,500 foot pounds of torque with this fastener. So from here to here, we had a 15% increase in strength. And from here to here, at its, at its 140 foot pounds of torque, you have another 14% increase. Clearly we have not seen the strength of this uh, fastener fail yet. Um, so 14. Yeah, we're gonna try a 14 millimeter socket here. with snap-on. It's a 14. That one won't break. Yeah, that one's better. Oh, there you go. You know what? We were, we, I was thinking that was a half inch. So here we go. We're going we're gonna to do this one more time. We're already at 201. We want to see something fail. Holy smokes! What am I at? I'm at 210 right now and still tight. Ugh. 216. Oh man. 223. Ah. Okay, that's about as far as I can go. 233 foot-pounds on our half-inch head stud, ARP 2000 material. 
that's it. Boy, I got a workout. 